So hi, Stacy here. I am in Salt Lake City this week, and I am here with Joni, who is in week five of her JavaScript course. Um, so we thought we would sit down, learn a little bit about how her experience is going so far, um, and how her iron journey is going. So um, thank you for sitting down with me. Thank you. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. No, I, I <laughs> you go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so just tell us a little bit about what were you doing before you found the iron yard. Well, um, I I have a background in like backend support, mm -hmm. with, uh, databases and web backend stuff with shell scripting with Bash and Perl and things like that. And I haven't really ever been in web development uh, as a profession. Mm -hmm. I've done you know websites for friends, and I've been uh, like bootstrap and foundation and yeah. stuff like that. And I've done a little bit of Angular before mm -hmm. this and um, I've been learning JavaScript and uh, HTML5, CSS3 on my own for about a year and a half or so. Yeah, and I just, it's just to, the job market has been kind of difficult mm -hmm. to get into. So um, I just don't have the the, I'm just not up to the level that, that most people are looking yeah, for. Mm -hmm. It's like I just need a boost, yeah. you know. And online training is great. Mm -hmm. I've been learning a lot through some other options. And um, it, it just got to the point where if you, I, there's no substitute for in-class learning right. and learning with other people. Mm -hmm. With uh, with people who are going through the same thing you are, and um, uh, in many ways it's, it it very much simulates the a work environment where you're working with a bunch of people who you are coding with. Right. And uh, so my experience so far has been this has been wonderful. Great. So, and so we were just talking a couple minutes ago, um, the class is mid-break when I was able to snag Joni and everyone was just talking and laughing and how has the classroom experience been for you? Oh, it's That's been wonderful. awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little older than a lot of people in the class, but, um, but I love everybody in the class. They've been, it, uh, I feel almost like this is family, you know, it's just, if that doesn't happen. But it's just, um, we all help each other. Mm -hmm. We all, um, we all support each other, you know, and things are, things are tough. It's, you know, it's Not easy. by about the third week, the first couple of weeks I was like, okay, yeah, I learned something new today. I learned a few things new to, mm -hmm. today. Great. And I blog about them and everything. And it was great. And then the week three, it was like, I come in on Monday and I was like, <laughs> just you start doing your callbacks and and uh, promises and things like that and these other concepts. I'm like, I've been introduced to them in online classes, and reading and everything. And I've always like, I don't need to know this, so I put it on the side for right. everything. And it just, yeah. So my mind was blown like a few times during week three. That's good. Yeah. And then ever yeah, since five. then, I've been like. You know, it's like, it's hard, so, and, you know, there have been a couple times I've gone home crying. <laughs> it's like, am I even going to make it through this? But, but I love it, and um, I'm doing, I'm doing okay, you know, I'm doing pretty well, I think. Um, but, uh, so, it's been a great experience, and I really feel lucky to be here, so, oh, good. yeah. And so, what are you... Have you started thinking a little bit about your final project yet? Is there anything here? Um, I've had a couple, of, a couple of ideas. I really like working with data, so mm -hmm. one of the options that I've thought of is doing a, like a web API with um, like air quality data because we have we have issues with our air quality mm -hmm. here in Utah during the winter time. Right. And uh, so I'd really like to do something with that. Um. Another one is uh, I have, um, I also have experience doing massage therapy and, mm -hmm. and my sister's a 
a right. social worker. Okay. So um, scheduling clients, keeping client data, stuff like that, I think is um, my project may end up being something along the lines of uh, of a scheduling, keeping data uh, for uh, yeah. for clients and insurance purposes and things like that. And um, yeah, yeah. Well, that's exciting. Is there anything yeah. else that we should know about you or your experience at the Iron Yard so far? Um. Well, first of all, I, I think uh, we're never too old to learn <laughs> new things, and and um, uh, I think it really helps to like to understand. Oh, did we lose it? I think. There we go. Okay. So, um, I think the number one thing is that I wasn't, you know, people said this is a boot camp. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty intense. I was not prepared for how intense it is. So I spend, um, I have, I really have no social life right now, which is, but it's fine. You know, this you is, thoughts, so right? I go, I go home for, you know, I, I barely get time to do a little bit of housework, <laughs> my uh, laundry and, and, uh, eating, whatever, <laughs> whatever you, you know, put together, grocery shopping, whatever. <laughs> As like, um, I barely have time for any of that stuff. And um, so, but I'm loving the learning process. I mean, you, uh, if, for people who are thinking about coming to the mm -hmm. Iron you know, you're going to be spending all of your available time doing really homework. immersive. Yeah, yeah, really focusing on things because you know, this is the opportunity to learn. So once the 12 weeks are over, it's like uh, you don't have that pressure on you to, to focus as much. So yeah, it's really important to take advantage of that time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me, Joni. Thank it was great to, to talk to you. Yeah, great to talk to you. And we will be checking in. I'm excited to see how the rest of your weeks finish out and what your final project turns out to be. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks.